I am tired. I am so tired. I can't even function. So I'll just put this up today and it'll be great. And then you'll be all caught up in my life. So we went to um, Lagoon yesterday in Utah. We actually left Friday afternoon after school and drove down there. Um, Carter went with the band the next day, so we didn't take him. So just Clarin, Ellen, Eli, and I, and then John, of course, had cow business to do, so he didn't get to come. Uh, the girls danced at the dance competition. Ella had to start dancing at nine. Then uh, Clarin did her dance, like, I don't know, like at 11 or something. And then Ella didn't get done with her all of her dances until about four. Then we played on the toys, played on the rides, and that was pretty fun. Um, Eli and I mostly just had to go around because the kids had friends to go with, so that was nice. And he had a fun time, but eh, you don't really get your money's worth <laughs> when you're doing that. It's expensive. It's like 35 bucks a person to go in there, and that's with the discount from the dance thing. So we went down Friday afternoon. We stayed with Aunt Diane. Uh, she, She's John's aunt. And then um, got up, went to the dance competition. And we should have asked Diane if we could have stayed with her another night. She's a very kind lady. She always wants to help us and take care of us. And like she's, she's a very hospitable woman. And I'm sure she would have said that was fine. So we should have done that. But we didn't. Instead, we left about 8 o'clock and drove home. We stopped in Ogden for some groceries at Walmart. So we didn't get home until about 12.30. Meanwhile, Carter had come home on the bus and so he got home about midnight or so. So John had to go pick him up. And John was really tired. He was asleep by the time I got home. So by the time I got the groceries put away, and they're not even all put away. I still have some stuff in the back, I think. <laughs> it was like 1 a.m. Then John called this morning and needed the kids to come help with chores. And I am just so tired. I wouldn't have gone to church today except I told two people that I could help them. I told the lady I could play the organ, and then I told another lady I could teach her primary class, and I'm just pooped. And supposedly, Clarin came home during church because she was just exhausted. Every week, I think, I'm not going to church this week. I'm too tired. <laughs> and then every week I go, and every week I'm glad I went. So next week's Mother's Day, and I was like, oh, I'm going to be sick that day. <laughs> I'll probably go. Okay, so quickly, I got to go to bed. Um, my goal for the month is to check my blood glucose every morning. And hopefully it will go down and down as I continue to eat responsibly at night. I have some old test strips from 2012 when I was expecting baby. And I was testing my blood glucose four times a day. So they're old, so I don't know how effective they are. But whatever. It's kind of just to get in the habit of checking. Then once I'm all done with all these old supplies, I might go see if I can get a new meter and new test strips and um, get on the ball there because diabetes runs in my family and I think it's in my future and if I could get some decent health care. <laughs> the problem is my insurance that I got does not cover the um, the doctors, they're specialists basically, that I've been seeing for 18 years that have helped me deliver all my babies and helped me through all my miscarriages and whatnot. So I can't go see them and I need to because they wanted to do some uh, blood glucose relating related tests on me, but I couldn't go see him again or else I'd have to pay out of pocket. So I'm like, well, I'll just try to keep myself alive for the next little while. And then, um, they're supposed to be opening up a clinic in my County that I can go see them at. I don't know. I think that if I went to some other doctor and was like, can I get referred to these guys? Then the insurance might pay for it. I don't know. But that was the stupid part right before the end of the year. I went in and had some tests done, and they're like, oh, we need to do some more extensive testing, blah, blah, blah. So just got to try to keep myself alive and try to keep my blood glucose down. I've got a headache, and I don't know. It's probably sleep deprivation and stuff. But it was a good meeting. I'm glad I went to church today. But, man, I struggled playing the organ because I couldn't really stay awake. <laughs> so, anyway, love you guys. Hope you're having a good weekend. I'll upload this. and let me know how you're doing. I'm so tired. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go in. I'm going to spend 15 minutes up and 15 minutes down. Because my family needs me. i got a lot to do. Clarence did for me. She'd like to have a party at the end of the year. So i got to clean my house from top to bottom. And I don't. she hasn't like run up past her dad yet. I don't know how you'd feel about a whole bunch of teenagers in our house like late at night and stuff. 
because he has to get up early in the morning and do a bunch of cow stuff. But I got a riding lawnmower, guys. I'm so excited. Here, I'll turn it around. Look, I got it at an auction. I had to... Did you see it? Okay. Um, so it was $528 and some cents. I had to go to Twin Falls, which is like, I don't know, three hours away or something, driving the white pickup. The guys loaded it for me, so that was good, because John was just too busy that day. He just couldn't do it. I took baby with me. Saw my sister. We had lunch. It was really fun. And I had to... I had to tie it down myself like a cowgirl. I had to tie it down like a cowgirl. <laughs> and then I drove back and the seat flipped up and, but it was fine. I didn't drive 80 because I was kind of scared that it might like fly out and hit somebody and kill them. But Carter used it the other day and it seemed to work really well. It does not drive in reverse. So that might be a problem, but I haven't even used it yet. I'm, I'm excited about it, but I'll, I'll give it some time. So we need to clean out, um, we've got this pasture area that's got a lot of rocks in it. So we need to clean out those rocks so we can get out there and mow that. Because there's also a lot of weeds out there, which I spray sometimes. But I think if we could, um, you know, get it before the weeds come back and reseed, then it'd be really nice. This is way longer than I intended. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, I will talk to you later. Okay, okay.